Saints hosting the Buccaneers, and the Bucs are three-and-a-half-point road favorites. The over-under is at 41-and-a-half points. The Bucs, the Buccaneers are minus 170 on the money line, and the Saints are plus 142. Now, these are the pre-kickoff lines. They're going to change the closer we get to kickoff on Sunday. Now, we obviously know that there will be no Derek Carr in this game, so that's going to be very interesting to see what this Saints offense looks like, and especially if there's no Carr and no Taysom Hill. God, God help us all. Head-to-head, -head, the Saints are 6-4. and four. The road team is on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 7-3. and three. The underdog has covered the last three games that they've played against each other. The underdog is 7-3 and three against the spread. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The under has hit in their last five. The under is 7-3. and three, And the under at 41.5 points, shockingly enough, is 6-4. and four. Now, granted, over the past, I don't want to really go few seasons, but the, the Saints really weren't. Uh, set at quarterback so it does make sense with some of these things but division rivals play each other tough the Buccaneers are three and two to start the year 57 points 36 points 33 points 49 points and then 66 points 37 points in a win 20 points in a win seven points in a loss in a game to the Broncos 33 points in a win against the Eagles and then they go out and lay an egg against the Falcons and a 30, they scored 30 points in a loss. For the Saints, 2-3, and three, 57 points, then 63 points. Then it seemed like they burned up all their offense in the first two weeks of the season. 27 points, then 50 points, then 39 points. 47 points in a win, 44 points in a win, 12 points in a loss, 24 points in a loss, and then 13 points in a loss in which... Uh, Derek Carr got hurt, and I said it while I was watching the game in the Discord that if that was Patrick Mahomes who got thrown to the ground like that or just hit while he was releasing the ball like Carr did, the flag would have instantly come out. And the fact that it didn't, I, I mean, I'm not saying that it should have been a penalty, but if it was Mahomes, it would have been a penalty. Uh, I'm going to take the Buccaneers on this one. I'll take the Buccaneers on the money line. I will take the Buccaneers laying the points. And I'm going to go under. I don't know what the Saints offense is going to look like. We don't know if Taysom Hill is going to play in this game. He hasn't in the last couple. And we saw what the Saints offense kind of looked like after Carr got hurt. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.